Good morning, YouTubers. Welcome once again to the eastern wing of the uh, Stinkbug Works. I want to do a, a little more follow-up <clears throat> on yesterday's video where I talked about the Timmy. I'm not sure if I had explained myself completely well at, with uh, my plan for the pump, but here is my plan for the pump. Um, the through hall is now perpendicular to the base. That was the whole point of this exercise of building this out of G10. And fortunately, I had a Forstner drill bit that was the perfect size to bore the hole here in this piece that basically allows the through hall. And here is how this is going to work. This will simply fit in here like this. Something like this. Hello, boys and girls. I had this working quite well before. Um, anyway, it fits in here. There we go. There it fits. And so I'll just tack it in with, you know, epoxy to begin with, then come back later and make an epoxy and a shredded fiberglass mix and fill everything in. But I will now have a transom that's perfectly perpendicular. Then I talked about making an aluminum channel. Here's what I'm planning to do. Now imagine... If you would, this is made out of aluminum. And also imagine, if you would, that I cut a hole out of this to match that. And so this piece of aluminum would go underneath here like this. So that adds a stabilizing fin. The design of this, actually, this boat actually kind of... Uh, follows the cracker boxes of old days and they needed a center fin to turn because you know being real flat bottom like this they would slide sideways and the same thing with a, a jet boat so this will serve to protect this grate from rocks and whatever and also serve as as fins and then what will happen on this base piece is once I decide where to trim it, I'll go ahead and trim it off, trim it off. And when I make this, where I trim this G10 could very well be a function of this or the slope of the hull. We'll see whichever uh, controls the dimension on that. And then for the, the bucket to work, I'm going to have to cut out here. And remember, these sides are going to come in some. So there's only going to be about this much sticking out. So there'll be a little, a little bit of here that's naked. Although I could, I could extend these, just the verticals beyond here. That, that may be my, uh, solution and then put a tapered edge on them so to protect this should it ever be like this although i think this boat is not going to do that this is going to be my rescue boat and one of my subscribers and someone who uh has a vast knowledge of all sorts of things like this goes by the name of sweet accord uh, commented, you know, I was bitching and complaining that these stupid coots get in the way of, you know, running the rigger. And he said, well, why don't you get another boat out there and chase them out of the way? So I want you to meet. I have now named this. This is Fred. F-R-E-D. The Foul removal and elimination device <laughs> this is fred so uh, and big b kind of stole my thunder i'm planning a, in fact i already made the purchase i purchased a 
servo or a, a radio actuated siren and a light bar with, you know, flashing red and light whites, red, pooey, flashing red and white lights, red and blue lights, I think it is. Anyway, so I'm going to go chase Coots with this blaring siren and flashing lights. <laughs> yeah, they're going to love me at the pond. What are you doing to those poor birds? You know what? I'm saving their lives because if they're out there when I run something fast, they will die. So I thought I'd update you on this. Let you see what my plans are on this, how it's all going to function. It'll be, it'll be sweet. It'll be the Fred. It's no longer Timmy. It's Fred. I've just changed his name to Fred. Okay, boys and girls, until next time, jet out. Hello, boys and girls. Um, I realized that I had Edward D. Wood quality camera angles on a lot of this when I was talking about the uh, the uh, inlet protector and guide fins. So essentially this is what it's going to look like. It'll actually be a little longer. It'll come up forward of here, but you know, it'll have that, that general appearance. It'll be cut out back here for the uh, bucket to turn and then I'll angle it off a little bit. So uh, I'll still have some protection for the edge of the bucket. So um, that's the plan. Okay, once again, jet out.